Okay. I'm going to read a police report. The police report says that you punched her face, choked her, and at one point tried to get her to swallow her engagement ring. I mean, that's, that's pretty serious, a police report, you understand? Right, right. So I exactly what happened? Um, to be honest with you, Steve, all I just know that I just caused harm to her. I know I hit her. Um, I know I was on top of her. Uh, it was an out-of-body experience, like, you got to stop. You got to stop. Whatever you're feeling, whatever pain you're going through, you got to stop. This is, this is your, your, your everything right here. And, and why are you doing this? You okay, know, this... so why didn't you stop when you say that? I was, I was just too far gone at that point. I was just, I was just out of my, my mind, delirious and just hurt, pain, neglect. And I felt like, you know, I wish he just would have held me. And she didn't. So I felt like my world was against me. Okay, let, let, let me ask you this. Had, had this ever happened before? Never. You, you've never had a physical? Never. Never. Not, not even close? Not even close. I wasn't raised that way, Steve. My mother and father, uh, my mom was a praise and worship singer. My father's a deacon. Uh, they've been married um, 47 years. So, I mean, I was brought up with great values. This was totally out of character for me. And uh, I, I, I don't, to this day, I, I don't agree with none of what I have did. And that's why I'm here today, to let people know I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to be like the other guys in the tabloids that caused harm to their wife and they didn't speak out about it. I want to be the one to let people know that was very wrong what I did. And I want this story to go out to help other people that's in abusive relationships. I know it's a lot of people that never forgive me. Um, I had to accept that. But I also wanted people to know that I'm going to speak out. And um, in any way I can help, I was just gonna be straight up and just tell my story. Whew. Kyle, like, I tell you, man, this, this is a tough interview for me because as a father, you touch my daughter, I'm doing you. Right. That's the promise I've made to all my daughters. Every boy that's ever come to the house to visit my daughters, they get the same speech. You can break up with her, you can quit speaking to her, you can not talk to her, you can quit coming around, but you put your hands on her, I'd have to find you. Right. You understand that? Exactly. Just as a father. Right. Now, that being said, I, I just had to say that, because, you know, I'm, I'm not really good at not saying what I really feel, right. you know what I mean? Right. I'm, I, ain't, I ain't that guy, man. Right. I'm going to sit up here, because I got a TV show and say some little uh, banana pudding-ass answer, because it sounds good. That ain't me, man. Right. If you do mine, I'm doing you. You can't kill my dog and expect your cat to live. That ain't, I, that's how I was raised. Right. So I had to say that because I got to get that out the way because I don't want nobody sitting up in here thinking that I'm some other kind of way because you here. Right. I'm the same way. Hey, folks, welcome. Uh, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click here to subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss a single hot new video, some really good stuff. And then I want you to click here to see more clips from the show right now.